Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today we're going to have a look at this. This is the Eosheen RD200 FPV watch. So years ago, now it must have been three or four years ago, I had a Teng one of these. Looked exactly the same as this, to be honest, it was green. Uh, the aerial with the antenna was in the same place, you did the same thing to move it up and down. Buttons were very similar, the buttons feel far better on this to be honest and the screen looks better. But the massive thing about this one, it has a DVR, which is the reason I really wanted one of these. The watch is huge, so if you put it on your wrist, it is massive, but I suppose it's usable on your wrist because you can get to where you want to put it. So it's got three buttons on the side, so you've got a power on button in the middle, and record, so you just short press to record, long press to power on. Up above that you've got your channel button and down below there you've got your frequency button and menu. So let's just turn it on. So that's the screen. So I'm just going to let me connect it up to a quad so I can show you how good it is. So let's put it onto this. And it's on the same channel, I think on oh my quad, virtually yeah. So there you go, so that's your screen display. I don't know if you can see that very well in the camera. It's quite sharp. It's actually really nice. But the, the massive advantage for me, of course, is the DVR. So if I press in the bottom button, I can get into my menu settings. And then I can go up and down through my menu. And then if I long press that in, I think it's a long press to get rid of it. The menu disappears and then I can change my bands but if I hit the top button and hold it in I've got automatic search so I'll see how good that works. I have seen a review on this and people saying the auto search won't work and it seems to have worked every time for me. I might have just been lucky but let's see if it does find it this time. There you go. So it really is a nice piece of kit and like I say I can go up and down with the channels here. Uh, it's rechargeable port here. And then of course you've got your antenna and of course the water strap actually feels like the tank one I had well the horrible strap it was a plastic thing this is like a rubber in the box you get a cable for your audio and you get a charging cable you get some instructions and yeah let's just turn this off I don't want to roast that for tazzy air so it'll get red off and um, this is the box it comes in and then underneath here, now this look, mine was actually held in with a bit of glue but you need to pull this out because down below there are your cables but mine, this was actually glued in because I thought there was no instruction manual or anything with it so the reason I mainly bought this is not to fly with, I'll be totally honest with you I don't want to fly with it but I do want to record DVR because sometimes I forget to hit the button on my goggles and the FXT DVR isn't good anyway so I'm going to use this to record so but the main reason I got it was for setting models up. So when I set a model up, I need to either get my goggles out when I'm building or I have a seven inch monitor, but then I have to connect the battery to it. And it's all a bit of a pain in the backside. So let me just pause this and show you how I'm going to mount this. Okay, this is how I mounted mine. This is a 3D print you can get from Thingiverse. Forget what watch it says it's for, the Boss Cam, the G10, this, they're all the same size. They all seem to have an exact, set. well I think this is an exact, this is the same on them all, the case. But as you can see it just clips in, so all you've got to do is, let me just put it down there. Lift that up and push it out. So all you do is take your watch strap off, leave the pins in, put the one into the bottom and just clip it into the top. Or clip it in and let it fall out. There you go, just clip it into the top like that. And as you can see, it holds it nicely on there now. So, for me this is going to be perfect for setting models up, I can just leave this on my transmitter. Uh, see, I've got a quite a big case for this and it actually does fit still in the case, but for me, yeah, fantastic because I can leave this on. And also, the beauty is of course, if when I'm flying, and especially when I'm doing, I very rarely record DVR for myself, I only tend to record DVR for when I'm doing a review. I tend to record more with the GoPro or anything like that, but I know that... Sometimes you guys like seeing it, so I'll, record, I'll now record on this, so it's simple about just pressing the button, and off I go. You can format the SD card from the menu, I didn't actually show you that, so let me just go back in the menu. It's not the best for seeing the menu, I don't think you're going to be able to see that, either. but if I highlight it, you might be able to. There you go. So, you can format your SD card, it is an SD32, um, it, is, it takes up to 32 gig. 
it is FAT32, but it tends to work better when you formatted it on here. So if you just click format on there, it's gone red because I haven't got an SD card in, obviously. Um, but that's all you need to do. So I think it's fantastic. You'll you know from watching my channel, I'm not the biggest fan of Eashine, and I'm not. But this is a brilliant product. Putting the SD card in here is an absolute godsend. And I think they've only I don't know I can't remember how much it was. It wasn't a lot of money. But I think it's just really nice. And as I say, you can just there's a few different ones of these. This is just the neatest one. Now, if you've got a jumper and you want to put one on your jumper, you're going to see that that is the other way around on a jumper. When you get it, that is up and down, not side to side. So you need to move that. Do not take the transmitter in bits. It allows you to twist it 180 degrees. So all you need to do is, I just put a pen in there. I'll just use a plastic pen and I just pulled it around and it twisted nicely. So it'll go up to 180, I've just moved my 90 because of the way it's fastened on the inside obviously don't break your transmitter doing it but you do need to have one that mounts this way there's other ones that go on the back here but then you've got you've made your transmitter really bulky whatever on this i think it's a good size so thanks so much for watching have a fantastic day thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up